Um, today we are going to do past paper question 2016. I hope that you are actually seeing what is what is on the screen. So I'm trying to sp split the screen to see a question and also the answers because I've written down the answers because it's difficult for me to write on the PDF. Yeah. So the 2016. So let's go closing and textile. All right, so the first question C define the term filament fiber. So what is filament fiber? So I have the answer key here. So fil um, filament fiber is a type of yarn made from long continuous strands, yeah? And then you'll get two marks for that. Um, let me see. Next question. So look at fiber A and fiber B. They're both yarns, yeah? Um, identify what um, yarn A is and what yarn B is. So for yarn A, yarn B is actually easy because it's two plies. So you see nothing, so it's two ply. That's a two ply one. And then the next one have more strands to it. Um, so these are the possible answer, novelty, Chanel, so any, any of these possible answers and you will be correct. I have to go quickly because I want to do the entire video. All right, define the term selvage. So you know the selvage is what is on the fabric. Um, some person will say um, it's a part that guides you um, for the yarns, um, for the, the warp and the weft. Yeah, it's normally thicker. So the definition that I have is a tightly woven edge that runs parallel to the warp, lengthwise grain on the fabric. All right, let's go. The next one say, these are two um, images that they gave us here. Yeah? Examine the design showed in figure two and answer the question. So they give us two figures. They give us the front view and they also give us the back. The question say, the fabric that would be best suitable for the garment should be firm and the weight should be kept in the garment shape. So name two fabric that could be appropriate. Tell me two fabric that you think should could be appropriate for this um, design. And the next question say, describe the method of construction of any of the one that you listed before. So my answer key, appropriate fabric will be denim. And you know, denim will be jeans, right? Um, velvet, calico, corduroy, um, all of these options will be linen as well. All right, so let's go to the section, the, the other response that we have. So the method of con construction will be plain, yeah, and with maybe inter interlacing the warp and the web yarn, um, alternative over and over over the pattern. Um, if you chose twill, twill um, the, the warp yarns passes over at least two but not over, you know? So if you look at the pattern again, look at it very good. Then these are the answers. As I said, I've written down here, I don't want the video to be long, but these are the responses that you can write. Continuous string layers, forms by row and loops. So you can see the loops going on. You can see the double knitted here, produced by combining two single knit fabric by the use of the interlock stitch. So you can see the interlock stitch here as you go along, yeah? All right, let's move on to the next question quickly. I hope this video is work. Um, so this one now is say figure three panel of fabric that was created for students for their school-based assessment project. Um, using a plain brown cotton and embroidery stitches, the fabric was then used to make a toe bag. So this, is what, this was what the image that they did. So the question is asking, identify and describe a technique um, other than embroidery here, yeah, that is used to apply for this. So tell me a technique, four marks, and then suggest two appropriate materials. So in ingenious material will be like, um, for ingenious mean long time ago, yeah? 
um, that you use um, to do the tool bag. So let's go with my possible answers that I have written down. Hope you actually seen. So the techniques here um, would be block printing. And if you want to explain, because it's four marks, so you have to um, ex let's say identify and then you have to describe. So I chose um, the block. So block printing would mean that preparing the block. So you know that when you're doing textile, it asks you to make a design and you create the block. So the block, the block will be the pattern, yeah? And then apply the color on the block and then you stamp it on and then you'll get, you will actually get it on the surface. So these are some options. Another one, ingenious material. So you could have like strands and seeds. You can put seeds on it. You can put leaves, bamboo, all of those. Let me go down to what I, I've wrote, written here. And the techniques for batik, you can use batik as well as one of those. Um, and these are, and a pig. So these are the responses. Apply method, wax, and design drawn on the fabric. Um, emerge into cold water. You know, when you put it in cold water, it stays for a while. Yeah, the color will stay for a while. I um, mean, leave it for 30 minutes for it to soak in. Um, you can melt wax off the fabric by ironing. So you press it on and then you're good to go. All right. Hope I answered those questions. Coming down quickly. Um, on one, one of the principles of design as it relates to clothing and textile is harmony. Yeah. And so we're talking about principal elements of, of design here. So list other elements and principle of design. So let's go and see what I've written down. Hold on, let me go on the other page. Let me go on my answer key, I'm sorry. Give me a second. That's the answer key part. So I have balance, redeem, um, proportion, emphasis. Emphasis. Um, the next question is saying, figure four, show a fabric care symbol. So these are some care symbols. This is very easy. These are some care, care symbols that you normally have on your clothes that you purchase. And the first one, the first one everyone should actually get is the, the iron because it's actually shaped like iron here. Yeah? Right, so these are the responses. Hope you actually seen them a little bit bigger. Let me get the answer key a bit bigger. Or maybe I just should use the answer key and go quickly. But these are the possible answers um, that you have. All right, let's use the answer key. State the meaning of three other fabric here. Um, don't need to say you did. Discuss two factors to be considered when selecting appropriate clothing for a toddler. Um, tell us what you think. Um, and then there's four marks. Um, so consider four factors to consider the growth. Um, and then four marks so you have to explain. So you have to list the factors first and then you explain. Talk about safety. And these are some um, possible answers that I have. Growth. Um, during the early stage of development, toddlers tend to, you know, grow faster. Therefore, choosing clothes with elastic inserts. So, you know, it lasts longer instead of um, you buying all the time. Um, safety. So, any button, any lace or anything. Du durability is one of the other options that you can, you can write, sorry. Um, ease of dressing, they don't want it to be too tight and all of those. Um, scratch a front view of a garment of a tall, slim person to show the use of elements. So you're showing the line, you're showing the shape and then label the area. And then next question say, suggest three decorative notions that is suitable. So you, you, you know notions are like zipper, um, any frill, any button, all of these will be the option. Let's go back to the answer where I sketch at the front view. So this is the front view. So I'm showing the line here. I'm showing that the shape. I'm showing, yeah, horizontal line creating, sharing, I'm um, creating a design here. So I hope that you've seen. And this is the garment of the color where we have the shape, triangular color and stuff like that. All right, let's go to number three. State three, state the three classes, classes of stitches using this garment. So we have temporary stitches, permanent stitches, decorative stitches. Name the stitch that is used to hold pieces of fabric together in a preparation of machine. So when you're stitching, you have even, you have, first of all, you have basting, and basting is one, and even tacking. And you know the basting is, is um, temporary, yeah? Um, 
describe how the stitch name in and work on it. So insert the needle in and for the evil stitches, you'll have that as a longer stitch. Name the type of seam that is most appropriate, appropriate sorry, for um, attaching the lower blows. So it will be plain. Name two appropriate finish that will have. So you know, finish will be zigzag. And surge is a, is a big one, um, over, overlock um, and bond. So there's two other methods that can be used for controlling fullness. So you know, okay, you know that when you're doing controlling fullness, you, have to, you can do um, the pleat and the tux and all of those. Hope I'm not going too fast. I hope you actually can see the writing. Study the, this design and show your answer. The question outlines three steps um, use in the diagram showed and how to prepare a bias to make an opening in this design. And I have three here. So you take the shape, um, mark the garment on the front of the depth required for the opening too. Um, you're gonna do stay, stay stitch on the three um, corners and um, away from the front of the mark. Uh, make, make two diagonal um, clips on the lower part so you can you can um have a good so I, i've drawn here or you can draw if you want to explain you can draw it here where you have the knots yeah and the lines right these are the options oh like one important guideline to be observed when planning for placement of fastener and these are the guidelines guideline for um planning placement of fastener um so button exactly on the center of the line um use horizontal button button hole let's go to here almost there and so any two in the section um this is a past paper that was done for 2016 as i said so the, the newer version now will be you don't have any option but this was one of the paper but you have past paper that will repeat questions so i think it was fit to do this um question this paper um, define the term generated fiber as it relates to the study of textile. So generated fiber would mean that you have fiber made from chemical, um, changing natural, so from plant or cellulose material. Name two fiber that come from each of the following. So natural fiber, synthetic fiber. So the natural fiber would be cotton um, um, and all of these that I list before. And the synthetic one would be like nylon, um, polyester is a popular one, um, spandex, acrylic, and the list goes on. All right. A married couple, a young married couple is purchasing a furniture and appliance for a new home. Outline two important factors that could be considered when planning to purchase for a new washing machine. All right. So let's see what I have here. I think I wrote it at the bottom of the page. So let me do the other question. Let me go back to the answer. Um, the body of the jacket shown in figure seven is made of white linen. And the color lapel, so you know the color will be the, and the lapel of the breast pocket are made of, of red. Um, the jacket has been shown a few, few times and has made um, longer. So we're going to go to the question. So it's explain two of the processes that should be followed when laundering this jacket. All right, so these are the answers that I have before for the factors of purchasing. So the purchasing one will be here. So you purchase with the size, you're talking about budget, um, energy efficiency. And then the question with laundering of a fabric, or do you launder? Um, so these are the five steps. Hope that you're actually seen. So you're gonna pre-treat pre and you pre-treat with the liquid detergent or made a, a paste, you know, on, like a powdered paste to remove the stain that is there. And then you wash. So you can use and. You can use a hand to wash. You can use a machine wash, um, soap detergent, and then you go to dry. And then after you dry, then you iron and iron, then you clean. You dry clean. The question here, I didn't read this one. You are you have a large floral cotton sheet that is worn out in the middle. You also have a container full of various colors um, for the button and small plastic container full of. So you, the question is identify one article that can be made. So what can what what articles? So we are talking about recycling here, and then what major benefit can be derived from using the material 
um, for the article. So let's go with my responses. So the article we can make, we can make a placemat, we can do a chow cushion, because you know it's all old material. We can use handbag. And then what are the benefits? You are being um economic, um, you are being creativity, creative, creativity, or creative, sorry, and then authentic. Sorry about my twist of words. But anyway, question five. Name one measuring tool that is used in garment construction. This is easy. Um, so ruler, name one marking tool, name um name two tools that are used, a so pattern, pencil, draw, whatever. All right, so marking, so measuring tool will be um tape measure, and the marking tool will be a uh, pencil. Yeah. And name two that are used for making pattern, as I mentioned before. Outline one procedure that should be carried out in caring for um electric sewing machine. Um and then design um study the design showed and answer the question. Name one possible pursuit. Um so these are the answers that I have. So you can read them. How do you actually care for the machine? All right. Outline two important steps that should be followed when drafting a color or design. So this is what I actually draw to show. All right. All right. And question. Using figure 10 to sketch a skirt. So they ask a question. List three steps by three steps to be taken to adapt the skirt um, pattern block to obtain a pattern for the skirt. So this is what I did. So I list them, so I measure the skirt to require a length, yeah, of the pattern, then I pin it, the paper, so they put the pattern over the fabric, and then I make a sketch, yeah. Going quickly, outline two factors that should be considered when selecting a commercial pattern. Um, and then, that's how you do a commercial pattern. Talk about the age or the wear or the pattern should be the, the design. Um, I actually hope that you're seeing because I use a red, a red um pen. And the dart fall on the selective line. Length of the skirt. Set the mean of each symbol. Mm -hmm. All right, these are the answers. Quickly, you are using a commercial pattern to make skirt, the pattern of the blouse of two inches for the wear. Outline four steps. Outline four steps or label. When they explain a guideline, you should observe in marking alteration. So I've written down all of them here quickly. You can just take a picture. As I said, I don't want the video to be long, but I just want to show you some possible answers that you can do your study. So you can pause the video and read the answers all right quickly name two type of color roll standard flat name one support color one support fabric that could be used mm -hmm. calico come to mind name two appropriate notions and we spoke about notions already on top of the paper where we have color button so what's the notion that we can have mm -hmm. Right, and then this is the end of the paper. This is where I'm gonna have the calculation, the guidelines here. We're seeing and for the pillar case. This is the calculation that we'll have. So for the pillar case, um, you'll have one side, and the fabric will be required for twenty-one inch or two side seam for the fabric to require um the twenty-two inches, um. So a pillar is 26 inches long, long plus two inches for the top and quarter and half inch for the bottom for the for the seam allowance. Because you know you need the seam allowance. So for the pillar case, you have 26 plus two plus half, that, that will be equal to 28 and a half inches length of the fabric required. Therefore, two pillar cases. So if you need the two, you're gonna have 28 and a half times two, that will be 57 inches for the fabric that is required. And the suitable fabric making the pillowcase. 
but you can use satin and these are the options i actually hope that you learned something i know i was rushing the video but i didn't want it to be long but i hope that you learned something today thank you so much